creatives welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of stopping by you are welcomed in today's tutorial i'll be teaching us how to make this beautiful ankara barrette ankara barrette is so beautiful and is a lovely accessory that can spice your look anytime you can pair it with a dress trousers skirt or jumpsuit the good thing is that it's so easy to make. A beginner can easily make it. Besides, you don't need much fabric for it. If this is something you're interested in, keep on watching. For the barrette, I'll be using one yard of Ankara fabric. I'll fold my fabric into two. I want to cut circles i need four circles for the barrette two circles will serve as my lining and two circles will serve as my main fabric so i'll fold my fabric again into four the length of the circle is six inches so i'll mark the six inches round I'll connect the marks to make a curve. I'll cut out the circle. This one circle, I'll use it to cut three more circles. See the way I folded my fabric? I just folded it into two. Then I placed it. I placed my circle in, in half circle form. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I didn't fold it into four. Rather into two. So I've cut, cut out my four circles. The four circles that I need. I'll fold two circles into four. Can you see? I folded it into four. Then I'll measure three inches. This one will serve as the as the brim, the brim of the beret. I'll cut it out. This one here is my lining, one base and one brim. I'll put them together, right side facing each other. Then for the main fabric, I went ahead to place it on wadding, soft wadding. In the market, it is called wadding or breast pad. You place it on top of it and cut. It will serve as it will serve as structure to the beret. I'm cutting the brim for the for the beret. At the center, I'll cut at the center because I don't need that center part. I'll place the right side of the base and the right side of the beam together facing each other. Then I'll stitch. I've gone ahead to sew the main fabric and the lining. I'll trim off the excesses that I don't need so that there won't be any puffiness at those ends. Then I'll notch. I'll do the same for my lining. I've notched. Now I'm torn my main fabric, my main barrette inside out.
then I'll take it to my ironing table and press the inside open the inside like take my iron inside press it so that it lays down flat I've gone ahead to press it can you see it's, it's laid now so this my lining fabric i'm not going to turn my lining the way i turned the main fabric i'm just going to fix my lining as it's facing the wrong side inside the main fabric i hope you understand me the lining you're not going to turn your lining like the way you turned your main fabric at the ss wording i have at the circle I'll stitch it to keep it in place. Measure the circumference of the circle. The circumference of the circle is 22.5. And I'll add one inch, one inch to it for sewing allowance. I'll cut two inches by 23.5 this will serve as a band for closing like like a like a bias to turn the circle If you've watched this video to this point and you are enjoying it please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button I'll be so glad to welcome you into the creative family so I've cut out my 2 by 23.5 inches strip I've stitched on the sewing allowance which is half inches half inches one side and half inch the other side which made it one inch remember it was one inch sewing allowance we added so see the way i place the the strip right side i put the right side inside inside the barrette the right side of the strip is touching the right side of the lining i'm going to pin it round after pinning it round i'll take it over to the sewing machine and stitch i've gone ahead to stitch it now i'll fold it into two like fold it you you are making like a making a bias i'll fold it into two like a bias and stitch and stitch at the end close to it I'll make sure that the stitch I'm going to make covers that first stitch. That's the that's the stitch I made initially is not going to show when I cover it. I hope you understand. Like the inside, the inside stitch is not going to show. It's just the only one that I'm going to stop top stitch that is going to show. I hope you understand what I am trying to say right so i'll fold it round gently like i'll take my time to fold it so that it stays well and it comes out nice and neat you just have to take your time to do this fold it fold it and stitch it so i've folded it look at it then I used my pins. I pinned it round. I'll take it over to my sewing machine to stitch it. I've gone ahead to stitch it. Can you see? Can you see how neat it is looking and how beautiful it is? Yeah, the barrette is ready. Isn't it so beautiful? Mm, my goodness, it's so cute. All right. That would be all for today's tutorial. I would love to see your beautiful Ankara Berets. Thank you all for watching. See you in my next one. Bye for now.